Republic. Once there was a lady who had an ugly daughter named Helena. She also had a beautiful stepdaughter named Marushka. The lady and Helena behaved in evil manner with Marushka. Once during January, Helena sent Marushka to bring her violets. Marushka wandered in the cold and saw twelve men sitting. They were the twelve months. Marushka went to them and told her problem. March waved a staff and soon violets began to grow. Helena was amazed when Marushka brought the violets. She sent her again to bring strawberries. Marushka brought them with June's help. Helena sent her to bring apples. She brought them with September's help. Seeing this, Helena herself went out and met the twelve months. But she behaved rudely with them. Thus angered, January waved a staff, and an icy wind blew, and snow began to fall. Helena could not reach her cottage. Her mother too came out to find Helena. At home, Marushka prayed for her sister and mother, but they did not come. They both were frozen to death on the mountain. After some years, Marushka married a farmer. He proved to be a good husband, and they lived together very happily. The disobedient rooster, Slovakia. Once there were a rooster and a hen who were very good friends. They were more like brother and sister. The rooster was careless and often did foolish things. Well, the hen was sincere and always advised the rooster not to do so. One day they went to a garden and saw green gooseberries. The hen instructed the rooster not to eat the green gooseberries as they could pain his stomach. But the rooster kept on eating the gooseberries and at last got a terrible pain in his stomach. The hen gave him medicine and the rooster was healthy again. One day they went out to the meadow and the rooster ran until he got all overheated. He went to drink cold water, but the hen instructed him not to drink cold water when he was overheated. But the rooster did not listen. He got a chill and it took a long time to become healthy again. One day he went to slide on ice and the hen asked him to wait till the ice got harder, but he did not listen. Unfortunately, the ice broke and the rooster fell into the river and was drowned. The Girl and the Snake Sweden Once there was a girl who went in the forest and lost her way. She arrived at a hill and saw a door and went in. There was a table covered with tasty food. There was a bed in which lay a great snake. The snake said to the girl, Sit down if you choose. Eat if you choose. Lie down in the bed if you choose. But if you do not choose, then do not do so. So the girl did nothing at all. The snake then said, Some people are coming who want to dance with you, but do not go along with them. Straight away, people arrived who wanted to dance with the girl, but she did not agree. She left the hill and went home. The following day, she again went to the forest and arrived at the same hill. But this time, she ate the food and lay on the bed. The girl gave a loving touch to the snake who soon turned into a handsome youth. He was a prince, bewitched in the form of a snake by magic spells. Then both of them went away and there was nothing further heard of them. The Magic Mirror Spain Once there was the king of Granada. He decided to get married. The news spread throughout the kingdom. The king had a magic mirror into which if any woman, not being thoroughly good, would look, the blemishes on her character would appear in the form of many spots on its surface. So it was decided that each woman of the kingdom who was willing to become the king's wife would gaze into the mirror. Although the king was a very handsome man, yet no woman applied to have a look into the mirror, fearing that it may highlight her character traits. The king was very upset. One day, his barber suggested that there was a simple shepherdess on the mountainside who would surely brave the magic power of any mirror. The king at once called her to his court. The shepherdess told the king that although she had no ambition to become the queen, yet she was not lacking in pride. She then walked up to the mirror and gazed into it. Surprisingly, the magic mirror showed no stains on surface. After this, 
the king and the shepherdess were married with great pomp and show thanks for watching do like share subscribe to sahil book house